Canada's culture. Canada's people reflect a history of British and French colonial rule. In addition, the country has experienced waves of immigration. The country is home to a great variety of people who belong to different ethnic groups and cultures. Although individual groups still keep their own cultural ways, many Canadians have tried to create a single national identity. During the late 1800s and early 1900s, many immigrants came to Canada from Europe. Most were from Britain, Russia, and Germany. Some people also came from the United States. While most of these immigrants farmed, others worked in mines, forests, and factories. Other immigrants were lured to Canada in 1897 by the discovery of gold in the Yukon Territory. Many people from the United States migrated north in search of Canada's gold. Immigrants also came to Canada from Asian countries, especially China, Japan, and India. British Columbia became the first Canadian province to have a large Asian minority. Many Chinese immigrants migrated to Canada to work on the railroads. Chinese immigrants built most of the Canadian Pacific Railroad, one of the railroad lines linking Eastern Canada to the Pacific Coast. All of these immigrants played an important part in an economic boom that Canada experienced in the early 1900s. During these prosperous times, Quebec, New Brunswick, and Ontario produced wheat, pulp, and paper. British Columbia and Ontario supplied the country with minerals and hydroelectricity. As a result, Canadians enjoyed one of the highest standards of living in the world by the 1940s. Today, Canada values its immigrants. The government recognizes not only that immigrants historically helped build the country, but continue to help build it today. In 2010, the country launched the Canadian Immigrant Integration Program, the CIIP, to help immigrants prepare for success in their new country even before they leave their old one. The program connects them directly with resources they need, including employers and colleges, so that they are better prepared to take their place as part of the national fabric. Many immigrant families strongly encourage their children to excel in school. While a good education often helps these second-generation Canadians to succeed, it can have less intended consequences. Immigrant children often learn and adopt the language and culture of their new country faster than their parents. In some families, parents depend on their children as translators in certain situations but still expect their children to submit completely to their authority. This expectation often seen in families from countries with strict cultural beliefs surrounding family roles can lead to tension between the generations. After World War II, another wave of immigrants from Europe arrived in Canada. Many settled in Canada's large cities. For example, Toronto has become one of the most culturally diverse cities in the world. The Europeans were joined by other people from Africa, the Caribbean, Latin America, and particularly Asia. Asian business people have brought a great deal of wealth to Canada's economy. Many Canadians have recently moved from farms to the country's cities. Some settlements in rural Canada have even disappeared because so many people have left. Many Canadians have moved to cities in Ontario to find jobs. Others moved to Vancouver, British Columbia, for its good job opportunities, mild climate, and location near plentiful resources. Resources such as oil, gas, potash, and uranium have provided wealth to many cities in the western provinces. However, the political and economic center of power remains in the cities of Ottawa, Toronto, and Montreal. So in this lesson, you have learned that Canada was greatly influenced by British and French settlement, the building of the railroad to the Pacific coast, 
immigration, and movement to cities. In our upcoming lesson, you will learn about Canada's regions and economy today.